Well, hi, everyone. This is Gary with Night Dreams Talk Radio. A couple things I want to talk to you about. I'm kind of upset. We had a guest on on July 13th talking about Bigfoot, Dr. J. Well, I received uh, about 100 emails and texts uh, from people today saying that, well, they will boycott uh, my show. They will no longer listen to Night Dreams Talk Radio because I had Dr. J on my show. It upset one of my weekend hosts, Kevin Beagle, where he can't even and doesn't want to even do a show tonight because he also started getting messages from the people in the community of the Bigfoot. Now, look, we're in the United States of America. We're not in some other country. If I started refusing people who want to be a guest on this show because I don't like them for some reason, I don't like the way they look, I don't like the way they talk, I don't like the way they dress, or I don't like their ideas, then what Would I even think about doing a talk show? Why would I? You know, it's called freedom. Now, Night Dreams Talk Radio, along with most talk radio shows, okay, it's entertainment. I leave it up to you, the listener, to make the decision if you believe what the guest says or not. It's your decision. Do I believe what the guest says? I'm neutral. I am the host. I try to get the best people on our show, be it on Bigfoot or UFOs or witchcraft or uh, conspiracies or what have you. But everybody has their own views on stuff. So what am I going to do? Censor everybody that wants to be a guest on our show? What are you going to listen to? You might just go back and watch TV. That's not right. Now, if you want to censor my my show and me, because I had Dr. J on, on uh, Friday the 13th, well, you can go ahead. I bet most of the people who are sending these messages to me don't even listen to the show in the first place. But I have to be non-biased. I, I, I can't just sit there. I don't know every guest that comes on the show. I have had 260 some guests in the past year. Now, do you think I know these 260 people? I don't. I just go by their bio. They send me the book they send me or the books they send me. And uh, the information that their PR uh, person sends me about the guests. And then I interview them. Again. You know, we're in the United States. It's up to you. It's you. If you don't like the guest that night, you can listen to any other radio show that night. I hope I don't lose you as a listener, but I try to bring the best guest I I can on a show. You know, I, I don't get funding from anybody to run the show. It's all out of my pocket and I'm retired. I support the show 100%. Do I ask any uh, the guests or the hosts to pay, to, uh, other hosts to pay to be on my network? Like a lot of these networks do. They, You think you can go out on an internet network and, and do a show without having to pay? You got to pay to be on their show. I mean, you're looking at 75 to $300 just to be on a one-hour show on an internet on somebody else's network once a week. I, You know, I, I don't do that. I would never do that. The same way I don't charge for you to listen to any of the replays that we have up. You know, I I, I want it to be free. But what upsets me more than anything is the emails I got from this group of people in the Bigfoot community in Washington State that slammed me because I had Dr. J on the show last night. Well, Dr. J has his rights just like you do, to, you know, voice his own opinion on Bigfoot and what how he in, interprets his encounters with Bigfoot the same way you would if you were a guest. Now, if he says something you don't like and it was directed towards you as an individual, well, then you should write a letter to him or talk to a lawyer and say, hey, this guy's using my name. I never gave him permission 
but that's between you and him, not me. I mean, I can't control what a guest says. Everything the guest says, well, yeah, that comes out of their own mouth. You know, I don't know ahead of time what it's going to be. Now, I will say the show on Friday was kind of scripted, which kind of ups- upset me. Because normally, you know, I, I and when I interview a guest, okay, I ask them questions, they give me answers. And that's the way it should be. Last night, uh, Michael, my one of my co-hosts uh, for the night, who actually, actually is the paranormal lawyer on Sundays uh, from 7 to 9, we both found the same thing last night. We couldn't talk. He wouldn't let us talk. He had a script. And that kind of alarmed me. That's my opinion, okay? Uh, will I have Dr. J back on the show again after last night? I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think so. Because, you know, I don't like having a scripted guest and my show being scripted. It is, in fact, the reason why I can say that is virtually everything he said, if you go on YouTube and listen to his shows on YouTube, it was almost word for word of one of his encounters with a group of people uh, in a seminar. I mean, I, I felt like he was playing it on, on the show instead of talking. But, you know, he still has his right to voice his opinion about Bigfoot. So, I mean, you know, you can take that as whatever you want. But I am not going to, when I get a guess on, I have no control what they say. And I would never, never dictate to a guest what they can and can't say. That wouldn't be American. That wouldn't be right. Now, again, in the paranormal, it's up to you. This is entertainment. Okay, it's entertainment. It gives you something to listen to, something to think about in your mind. You have to make the decision, is the guest telling the truth or not? Or is the guest exaggerating on a situation or not? Gee, don't take it so serious. It's just a radio show, a talk show with entertainment. That's what it is. I use the big word as Art Bell told me back a year ago. And, you know, and he recently passed away on Friday the 13th, too, which maybe it's coincidental. I don't know. But like he sat there and when he told me I should get back into broadcasting. He said it is entertainment. You know, when Art Bell started out in talk radio, it was all political. It was daily things that were happening. John Lear came up to him when he was in Nevada. And I got this straight from Art Bell when he told me the story. John Lear told him, hey, you know how you can get more listeners and get a worldwide uh, worldwide listenership? Do a paranormal talk show. Talk about UFOs. Talk about strangeness. Hey, it's it's up to the audience to believe it or not. That's their decision. And Art Bell told me that. And I remember that. Now, I'm not going to control what a guess says on my show now does that mean i'm going to have him back on after if i feel that the guest should not be on again no that's my decision but you know if uh, i feel uncomfortable with what the guest says no they're not going to be on my show a second time what i felt about dr j last night i i really feel he believes what he's saying i really do do i believe what he says well that's my my feelings inside. That's your feelings you have to feel inside if you believe in what he says or not. But again, if he's mentioning your name uh, without his permission and embellishing something, changing events, well, then that's where you can get a hold of a lawyer and you take care of it yourself. Because if he's saying that on my talk show, he's going to be saying it on seminars, he's going to be saying it in his books, he's going to be saying it whatever. But that's between you and him. All I can do is be an outlet for guests to be on Night Dreams Talk Radio. Again, uh, tonight, Kevin canceled his show because he's upset. He doesn't want to fuel anything in the Bigfoot community uh, because he took it hard. Because he wasn't even involved in this. He just recommend. He didn't even recommend. I asked for you know, a uh, guest that he could give me a list of in the Bigfoot. You know, I, I mainly deal like with conspiracies and, 
and uh, mind control and uh, and uh, UFOs and all this type of stuff, ghosts and ghost hunting and stuff like this. You know, I had my own experience with Bigfoot. I know how and what a Bigfoot does. But then again, that's I can only say it. And if you don't believe it, you know, that's your decision. God gave you and you and you a brain. You make the decision. But to get all upset and threaten me, my network, that you're going to, like, as I pick up radio stations, you're going to try to get them to drop me or not pick me up because I had a guest on with his own opinion. That isn't right. And that isn't going to happen. You know, there are courts in this country. Now, I want to get along with all the groups out there. I've had a mass amount of guests on. We have a huge listenership. And I try to be kind, gentle host. In fact, almost every guest I've had on my show has sent me letters and emails saying that, well, I managed to get more things out of them than any other host has. But they felt very comfortable being on Night Dream Stock Radio because I was kind and gentle. Well, you know what? That's just my approach. So again, you know, to you listeners that listen to Night Dreams uh, Talk Radio, please share us on your media. It's also so very important because we are working on trying to get picked up on uh, radio stations to click the like on the app that you're listening with. And if it has a follow, click that follow. Share us on Facebook. Let people know about Night Dreams Talk Radio. I'm trying to make talk radio fun again like it used to be. You know, when I got originally in broadcasting in 1976, one of the first jobs after I graduated from broadcast training uh, was through Washington State Association of Broadcasters. It uh, was for doing a talk show. And I was scared. And I sat down with the owner of the radio station and the station manager and the program manager, and we talked. Well, the first thing they wanted me to do was change my name. Well, okay, well, you know, that's radio. Just like being an actor, you change your name. Then they said, well, you know, we want, we want to do this. And I go, well, I don't want to get into, you know, politics. And then they said, well, what would you like to do? And I said, I'm not sure. And they said, well, paranormal. We got witchcraft cult in the area. Why don't we talk a little bit about that and then human interests and the community and whatever. And it took off. And I did that for a while. And then I did other talk shows from it. Uh, but, you know, the whole point is you have to realize we're in the United States. We're not into some country where you can't voice your own opinion. You know, I, I, I mean, if I wouldn't even have any guests on the show, if I sat there and and I, I went by my own opinion on, on, on some guests, I mean, there's some guests I, I've had on the show. I'll be honest with you. I. I totally didn't believe anything they said, but that was my, my feelings. I don't know how you feel. And again, that's important. You make the decision. You don't have to believe what the guy says or the lady says on the show as a guest. You know, you can even sit back and relax and have a good laugh out of it. I don't care. It's entertainment. But I try to bring you the best in paranormal that I can. I don't do it on a kitchen table. I research every guest it, it comes on the show. If they wrote a book, I read that entire book. If they have YouTube uh, channels, I watch all their YouTubes they, they put up. You know, I make a point in knowing about the guests before I bring them on. It's only right. It's only fair. It's only fair to them. I'm not going to do a half-ass job of interviewing. So, okay. And I don't get paid. I will tell you, there is some talk shows out there. The guests have to pay to be on to tell their stories. Did you guys know that? They got to pay to be a guest. No, the radio station doesn't pay them. They pay the radio station just to be a guest to get their story out, to sell their book or whatever, or their website. Just think about that. Anyway, uh, again, uh, Kevin uh, Biggle's uh, show has been canceled tonight. The reason why? Well, there's a few people out there that 
are totally against Dr. J. And that's their right. 